Most kids love a birthday party. But for some, facing a room full of people is not fun. Even attending school or childcare can be a true challenge. Most toddlers cling to their parents, but for the extremely shy child, the clinging goes beyond what's normal. In most children, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to develop comfort. And in a child who has extreme shyness and anxiety with it, they might not develop comfort after that 15 minute period. They may continue to cling, um, start developing some physiologic problems such as um, complain of headache, um, even vomiting can occur. Milder forms of shyness are usually outgrown by age six, but for others, the feelings continue through puberty. Jennifer Moffat looks for ways to help her son David over his shyness in the classroom. Well, he's starting middle school, so are there really any special situations I should anticipate when things are going to happen? Probably the best thing to do to make him, make David more comfortable when he's going into a new school transition is to let him go to the school before school starts, mm -hmm. see where the room is, meet the teacher, mm -hmm. um, just make sure the surroundings feel comfortable. In the past, David was reluctant to talk to teachers or many of his classmates. Experts say it's best to nudge, not push a child into social situations. The important thing to remember is never to belittle the child about their fears. To talk to them about you understand that sometimes this can be a little bit scary, but to remember that everything's going to be okay and to, to realize that they're able to overcome this. Rule number one in helping your child with shyness, respect his temperament. Also, recall a child's good times. Remind him of times he didn't want to do something, but ended up enjoying it. Prepare your child for new experiences. Take it one step at a time. Congratulating small steps builds confidence. Introduce new activities. Build friendships slowly. Invite one friend to the house. Many times a shy child does better with a little bit younger child. Um, or maybe with another individual who doesn't have an incredibly strong personality, but someone that they can feel comfortable and easy with. It's important for parents to remember shyness has its advantages. Often shyer children listen better, size up situations, think before acting, and are less likely to get into trouble. I think we all need to remember that that broad spectrum of personality that we see in society are good. And only the extremes, one way or the other, really need to be um, concerned about.